Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the daily scan for Monday, April 7th, 2014. Well, nothing market impacting expected today for scheduled announcements, so let's just move right on. Um, interesting headline here on Market Watch. The screeching sound is the market losing momentum. Yes. Let's take a look at Asia, uh, kind of mixed, but mostly, for the most part, I would say um, bearish. And over in Europe, bearish across the board, and some of the indexes there are not indexed. Well, yeah, I guess they are indexes are um, very bearish, very bearish. All right, and you might want to take a look at uh, some of these headlines here, too. Uh, Mickey Rooney, um, rest in peace, good actor, liked a lot of his films, and uh, a few other things in here that may be of interest. If you have an IRA, you might want to read up on this, and, you know, if you're uh, taking distributions from it and thinking of rolling them over, this is saying that uh, you can only do one in any run uh, running 12 month period meaning if you roll something over in March of this year you have to wait for April of next year to roll something over at least it has to be at least 12 months between rollovers okay so that impacts me uh, but I usually only take a distribution once a year uh, and roll it over Okay, um, let's jump over to the futures here in the U.S. We're looking at a bearish open here as well. Uh, across the board, oil, or gold is also down a tad. Since it's down 4 and it's at 12.99, I'm assuming it actually stuck its nose above that 1300 level. And oil is down a tad too, supposedly because some oil or um, a port or something in Libya is reopening. So that's what they're saying accounts for that. Let's take a look at last week. Uh, we had a pretty good week. Uh, one bad trade here, which was Chipotle, but LinkedIn, Baidu, and Celgene all came up pretty good and we're back up pretty much where we were before the disaster um, this bad this run of bad stuff here uh, starting in February uh, we had a very good January and but February was not really too good so continue to oops uh, hit it out of the ballpark on LinkedIn uh, with its uh, recent bear move so we're doing pretty good there what did we take out of them this yeah two dollars and sixteen cents out of them so I had somebody ask me actually and I think I'm gonna post this on my blog they asked me uh, what my win-loss ratio is and as of this date right here ending Friday it's actually 18 winners out of 17 losers so just a tad above 50 percent um, but limiting your losses and trying to maximize your winners is what ends up with this sweet little number right here all right so enough about that let's take a look at where we are currently we still have this TLT open I opened this on Friday this is a longer term one still based off of the stochastics however and the MACD still it's still a CSSV2 strategy trade it's just a little bit longer term with a regular April expiration uh, let's take a look at a chart on that Remember, I just added this to the A plus list, and here is our um, short strike level right here. We need to stay above that, and also have a calendar 
that uh, expires this week so I'm looking for TLT to move up here and considering it's relatively strong finish and looking at the stochastics and the MACD there's a pretty good possibility that it could move up there by the end of this week and what would that look like it would look a lot like I got a lot of junk on here. All right, this is part of it. 110 we're looking at. Okay, it would look a lot like this. So um, that calendar, I'm going to find out how much it costs. Hang on. All right, here it is. That calendar costs 10 cents or $10. So we'll see if it works out for us or not. It's uh, kind of a sweet thing, isn't it? All right, um, let's shoot right over us. Take a look at anything else that might be in our accounts here. These don't count accounts. <laughs> All right, um, we have a couple of calendars here that are sort of working out, and I got this. Uh, Goog thing that's all kind of messed up here. It was down 500 something and now it's only down 400. Take a quick peek at. Oops, doesn't like that. Guess I'm typing too fast. Uh, we need the L. Oops. See how it's doing here. Oh yeah, well that certainly did help. Our calendar is at uh, 1,090. Okay, so 1,090. We have to go to in order to look at that. Plus G O O G. Let's take a minute here. 1,087. Okay, so now we have um, IV kind of working against us on this. I don't know if this is going to work. No, I guess not. I don't know. This is so screwed up now. I just, I don't know what they did. I, I, I know what they did. I know physically what they did with the shares and all that. But I'm trying to understand what in the hell did Thinkorswim do? And, you know, I asked them, and they said, oh, well, you know, just type Google plus Google, and you'll get, you know, all the information that you need. Um, and I don't. So now when I come here and I look at, all right, so we have this April, and it's Okay, now they knocked the prices down, but they didn't knock this down. I'm still at 1090, but everything else is trading here. So where is my position? I mean, it's just, it's so screwed up and, I, I you know, I don't know. I don't want to get out of it right yet. Um, I'm just going to let it simmer a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, I'm moving down. All right, so we're going to move right over to the A-plus list, and let's not worry about that for right now. Um, the rest of the positions, uh, gold here, that's the covered call. So we're doing okay. Actually, we're, we're doing quite well there. I'm not complaining about anything there. Okay, shooting right over to... The A plus list will run our scan here. Apple looking pretty weak and looks like it's going to open pretty weak. I'm working on some earnings plays. Uh, most of them are like the day before or two days before earnings, so I'll have it out sometime this week. Uh, the video on what I'm thinking of. I'm going to run some uh, on demand trades in the past on past earnings on Apple and if you want to pick a direction overall for earnings 
I would say that I would be very bearish, or I would just be bearish, period. So if you look at the um, implied move or the possible move on earnings, I would pick the negative, you know, the down number and go with that. Do a bunch of at the money, um, their call spreads. So, I would not consider this, well, yes, this, this would be a good one here. We have a low down here, I'm going to alert this. Below this uh, low here that we have, and or below. Okay, we have a nice solid green up, and then we have a red down. And since we already had some trades here at this level, I set my alert down here. Prove it to me, Apple. And I think they are. All right, Amazon. Nothing live, and it is giving us that sinking feeling as well. And we have earnings coming up, so this would be a good one to pull earnings on. Now, if you want to back here at this day here, this was a good 20 delta day, and uh, I didn't identify that last Friday. My mistake. So we could have uh, gotten in on that one. And we'd be having a winning trade right now. I would do it with just the normal expiration. But nothing there right now. No entry. Okay. Um, Boeing. What did I do here? I get a bear call on this. I think I was thinking about doing this last week on this particular day. That would still be probably a good one to do a bear call on. I'm going to alert this one. This is a 20 delta alert. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to write this down. I'm not going to alert 20 deltas. I'm just going to put them down here in a 20 delta category. Just because we didn't come down all the way here. Um, the stochastic didn't get us down to the 30. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit more. There. So that's why. Even this up with that one. Okay. So it didn't quite give us the 30 level here, but it gave us a nice hook up here. Good strong hook. It's kind of nice moving above the moving average and then to turn back down again. And aftermarket trading on Friday proved it out so that would be a 20 delta trade for expiration next Friday Baidu didn't have anything on Friday for it we actually had an overnighter and that was good so let's get rid of all of our drawings so uh Thank you, Baidu. Now we have to wait for the next one. So let's put a target in up here. Celgene. Another one that worked out well. We'll just delete this one. And then we'll move our target over to here. And wait for the next opportunity on Celgene. Chipotle uh, got burned on Chipotle last week so what do we got going here I think we're going to have a trend reversal this is it pulled back here and then we have a lower high and it looks like we're going for a lower low here we have oh, one red dot on our exponential moving average we have a nice solid red down so we are reversing our sentiment on Chipotle and we are going south. Oops. Okay. The 
that's our next pick on Chipotle, and we have earnings coming up. Ah, the night, I think that looks like a Thursday night before expiration. Okay, that should be interesting. They're just, it's not that the companies are doing bad or they're going to report bad earnings, it's just that they're just way overpriced in my mind. All right, Costco never gave us an entry here. This could be a 20 delta trade here. Just because it's reproving itself. It's not really a flag or a pullback or anything. But I'm still going to note them in, in the 20 delta to um, take a look at for today. Okay, we're having fun now. We got some movement in the market. I like it. Okay, what's CVX doing? Come on down, CVX. We got an April May calendar. Um, we need to get down here to 110. That's going to be a stretch. Um, still may roll this April expiration and start rolling it into some weeklies. Pick the rest week, the best weekly, I guess you might say might end up being right here we'll see how it works into that for a earnings play because I already paid for this May 10th so we might have some rolls coming up on that as far as directional ability or CSS V2s or credit spreads um, it might be in a trend reversal it's questionable which direction we're headed here I'm going to stay away from it for right now take a look at the Dow did not have a good day uh, Friday and looks like it's going to open down a little bit today too uh, is there a play there no there is no play there Igor uh, huge pullback opened very very high up here and now it's pulling back the dividend coming up not twelve and a half cents not a huge one um, nothing there nothing at all FedEx okay FedEx we still we have this long put out here that is going to expire next Friday um, it's already practically 100% paid for we have a alertable situation here for directional trade so I'm putting this alert down here and let's increase the pace a little bit here see if I can keep up with myself all right we're in a downtrend we actually have a setup here on gold well we're in a downtrend on the um, exponential moving average but in an uptrend on the simple moving average but if it's going to act we're gonna to have to wait for this another day if it's going to act as resistance Let's wait one more day on that. Google. Wow. That's huge. So that's 1080. That's really, that's, this is where our calendar is at, basically. 540 and 540 is 1080. But it's not paying anything because of IV is increasing on that short. So it's going to be we might have to wait for it to collapse the following Friday alright um, da, da, da. IWM oh speaking of uh, Google from a CSS v2 perspective We have an alert. We had a setup here. Damn. I didn't have them listed in my setup on Friday. 
but there is, if we look here, there's definitely a setup there. Now we have an alertable situation. Let's see if it continues down today. IWM um, this is a looks like a pretty good 20 Delta trade yes we got a bunch of uh, lower highs and lower lows and it's a little bit late on this one just a tad late. Actually, Friday would have been a good day to get in. So we're just a little bit late on that one. So we are going to put a target in here for something in the near future. LinkedIn. Do we have another one on LinkedIn? No. It's been very nice to us. Um... We'll delete that drawing and we'll activate this one and slide it over looking for another opportunity. Thank you, LinkedIn. MasterCard must have a dividend, 11 cents, that's right. It did not have a good day. This is an alertable trade here. All right, moving right along, 3M. Uh, okay, well, we'll see if it continues its uptrend. We're sort of thinking that it might be in an uptrend here. I mean, definitely, this is an uptrend. Using the moving averages, yeah, okay. So we're still waiting for a setup there on 3M Netflix. Uh, didn't quite get up to the ideal situation, but it's a little bit late for them. We need to wait for another one. It just uh, happened. And our eyes, my eyes were closed anyway. It was in the 20 Delta for Friday. But now it's, it's too late right now for it. Priceline. Uh, we're waiting for down here. This target no longer really applies. I would have to say. So we're taking that out. And now we're just going to wait to see what's going to happen with Priceline. If there's something else that may be of interest. Might take a look at that during the day today. Let's take a look at the Qs and NASDAQ. Not a good day for the Qs and NASDAQ. This is no longer valid. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move it up here because we are in... You know what happens when I do that? I actually... I'm dragging it and my finger is touching the right click button and it sort of undoes what I'm doing. Just in case you're interested and want to do something like that. We need to get going here. Uh, spiders... I was looking for a target down here that it's still applicable. We'll just let the market play itself out and see what happens. TLT, we already talked about this one. Uh, we have 20 Delta trade out here. It's not, there wasn't a lot of money in that particular trade. And we have a calendar. That one has a possibility of uh, hitting out of the ballpark, I guess you might say. Uh, Tesla. Tesla, I think, is going to be in a new downtrend, so I am moving this target up to here. And Visa. Um, never gave us an entry here. So we need... Let me just slide that one over. Did give us an entry back here actually had to wait a bunch of days and now that's just too big of a move it's not gonna I'm not gonna get in on a move like that I'll wait for the next opportunity the next window all right that's it for today I'm sorry uh, it was a little bit long but um, 
hopefully it helps everybody it helped me so thanks a lot for watching have a great day and happy trading